So now I request our first speaker for the day. With uh, I request our first speaker to come on and share their views. The our first speaker is Safira Hasani, Administrative Assistant, South East European University, North Macedonia, and the topic is the importance of teacher pre nourishing in institutions. Over to you, sir. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm very glad that I have the opportunity to present today in front of you, dear participants and respected colleagues. This is a very great honor, and I'm very pleased to be your guest speaker today. And hopefully, we will all together share some ideas and experiences regarding uh, new trends in teaching. And also by sharing them, we will also in the meantime learn from each other and hope to, hopefully we'll have the opportunity to practice that in our teaching. So again, good afternoon. It is an afternoon here in North Macedonia. And very briefly, I would like to introduce myself first. So I'm Shpresa Hassani and I'm coming from North Macedonia. Currently, I'm engaged as a teaching assistant in Language Center, Southeast European University. And I'm also a lecturer in Access Micro Scholarship Program. So my background is related to ELT, English Learning Teaching. And also, uh, I'm more focused to work with uh, teenagers and young adults. Therefore, my interests are uh, in fields related to curriculum design, new trends in teaching, and also language coaching. So my topic for today's presentation is the importance of teacher teacherpreneurship in higher education institution. Uh, the terminology of entrepreneurship is a very broad one, right? Because it consists of very uh, of many elements which are all in a way linked together, hmm? such as knowledge, business, innovation, uh, soft skills, collaboration, teamwork, assertiveness, and so on. So all these elements are in a way combined and they all together form the new role of a teacher that we call teacher pronoun. Let's see more deeply uh, what will be the session goals and which are the main object objectives of the presentation. So what we need uh, to be aware of. As I said, the main target is to discuss about the new role of the teacher. Because as we see, uh, the teacher's role is nowadays changing a lot. Mm? And we will see here in details uh, how can teachers learn from uh, forming communities, learning communities, in which way we can benefit from them, and how we are capable uh, to learn based on our own experiences and also using uh, active reflection uh, for better understanding and implementing what uh what we are teaching right so we'll try here to focus on two main uh questions right what does it mean to become a successful teacher pronoun? and then what kind of results have uh educators achieved implementing teacher pronership in order to elaborate these items more deeply we will need actually to focus and see what are some new trends in teaching. We are all aware now that we live in uh, the era of digital learning, right? Especially with this pandemic situation, everything turned to uh, be taught online, right? And uh, whether we like it or not, we are all required to create a e-learning contents, uh, to use many educational teaching apps, uh, also learning uh, platforms which are required for 
online marketplaces, right? Uh, therefore, therefore, the entrepreneurs are directly involved in the process of education because the teaching skills that we are uh, teaching and want our students to possess should, of course, be aligned with the needs of the market and the educational institutions need to be aware of this and then be ready to prepare their students to cope with the rapidly changing circumstances, which of course should fit to the market's need, right? Uh, teacherpreneurship is an evolving form of entrepreneurship. Therefore, it contains many elements, as I said, of entrepreneurship. Uh, we are all facing uh, now a situation when we have to teach these so-called Google learners, right? Uh, they have grown up by using different uh, virtual reality games. And uh, therefore, the teacher's role has been shifted. And the teacher he's, here is uh, not the only provider of the information, right? Because the students can easily find the information that they need on the Google, huh? on the internet, using different platforms. Therefore, as teachers, we need to be aware what kind of skills we need to provide to these students in order so they gain the skills which are needed for the marketplace. We say that this phenomenon has transformed the entire learning environment. And as we said, since the teacher is not the main information provider, uh, there is a huge demand to transform these learning skills. In other words, as learning is increasingly moving online, the concept of teacherpreneurship in this new education landscape is seen as an important uh, conduit of innovation. We will go uh, here and dive more deeply into these concepts by uh, trying to define how teacherpreneurs uh, can be aware of their skills and how these skills can be transferable to students. So according to Matley, uh, teacherpreneurs are those teachers who are very skilled and of course very passionate about their teaching, but at the same time, they are willing to share their ideas and inspire other teachers to transform their teaching and learning. Because you know, teaching is an ongoing process and we are, we are constantly learning. Huh? Uh, it is very important here also to have the ability to develop a strength finding mastermind hmm, and apply this in our classrooms. And by this also helping our students to perform and engage at higher levels. Uh, these kinds of teachers can also prove that their skills are transferable and their pedagogical talent can be used an, as an asset to find uh, many innovative solutions to challenge facing, facing the educational industry. Also, a very important fact here is that they use creativity and reflection, very often self-reflection, to think beyond their teaching and to find some of possible ways to make lessons more meaningful and usable outside the classroom as well, not only inside of the classroom. For example, they can uh, take part in preparing social projects for teachers and students, as we do now, material design packages. They can also offer consulting for other teachers and so on. Even though at the beginning, this sounds very demanding and of course a very challenging task, still uh, making the teachers leaving their comfort zone will help us to develop professionally and personally. Therefore, teacherpreneurship can offer many authentic and innovative solutions 
and add value to our educational industry, which is more globalized nowadays. Uh, the term entrepreneurship refers to, refers to individuals' ability to turn ideas into action, right? Because we usually combine ideas and then we have the opportunity to put them into action. Uh, it includes, as we said, a lot of creation and innovation, but also uh, risk taking huh? because we cannot uh, always anticipate what challenges we might encounter. And then it comes the ability to plan and manage projects in order to achieve the objectives. Thus, entrepreneurship in education is about lifelong confidence development. So here we focus more on long-term goals rather than short-term goals, which are more easy to achieve. Huh? Once again, the entrepreneurial teacher needs to be someone who listens attentively and also can pick up and put to good use new and uh, interesting ideas. This kind of teacher also needs to have the ability to sell ideas to another. Above all, they should motivate their students to become passionate, to create, grow, and learn in the same time. But this also includes self-reflection because self-reflection might be a very good tool for progress tracking. As more students graduate to pursue social sector careers, it is very important here to highlight uh, for higher education and leadership programs to incorporate these practices uh, into their experience and also in the curriculum because it can provide a better connection between the theory and the practice. The emphasis here should also be put on the working with community in order to identify which aspects are the most important one to be considered and what are the needs of the marketplace and the students together with the teachers needs uh, they need to be aware of these phenomena so they need to be ready to face the challenges and complexities and also give solutions how to overcome them Therefore, uh, I will stress once more that it's an imperative for educational institutions to offer purpose-based training to support their students' personal and professional growth. Because these online global uh, complex challenges demand a lot of innovation and innovative solutions. And these are developed in line with the teachers who can effectively advance these social transformations because without the help of the teachers, they cannot be implemented into the marketplaces. As we can refer to the strategy of the European Uni Union, it highlights that the importance of the development of entrepreneurial culture can be achieved by fostering the right mindset and also entrepreneurial Skills and awareness are very important for career opportunities. So once more, we can say that productive teacherpreneurs can be teachers who are involved in mentoring, but in the same time, they are also willing to share their work. Uh, they are willing to evaluate their colleagues and also give accurate feedback as a kind of a contribute for building this partnership. Teachers also should learn from one another and by sharing best experiences and practices. Uh, we can see that uh, there is an urgent need for the classroom experts to shape the policy instructions based on the reality of teaching and learning. The accent, as we said, should be put on communication, collaboration, critical thinking and creative problem solving skills. And if we can demonstrate that we can put this into practice, we can raise our academic standards. Teacher unions also need to transform into professional guilds where members can make high performer standards and the skills of teacher trainer uh, can extend, of course, locally and globally.
this was my presentation in general. So now I would like uh, if you have some questions or if you want uh, to start a discussion or to share some ideas, you are more than welcome. I will be glad to answer your questions. I request all the attendees, if they are having any question or any query, they can raise their hand or they can drop the message in the chat box. Of really, ma'am, yeah. it's an informative uh, lecture. As, uh, as I can believe that being a student, teachers are the most important part in the life because they not only give us the knowledge, even though they shape the student, they are, we just act like a fruit. Students are the interior part and teachers are the outer part who shape the student in such a way that they can come in uh, in such a beautiful way that they can prove the world at what they are. And nowadays, with respect to change in the time period, change in the generation, nourishment of teachers with respect to students is very much important part in the, in the school life. Yes, I totally agree. Therefore, we all strive to cope with these changes and with these demands. I definitely agree that they are rapidly changing, but still we give our best to cope with these kind of changes. Mm -hmm. Do we Santosh, have Santosh? Uh, Santosh, he raised his hand. Uh, can I request the IT department to please unmute him? Hello. Yes, please. <coughs> Hello. Yes, you are audible. Go for your query. I am Shonadhan Ghosh from West Bengal. I would like to know one question from the ma'am. Uh, what to do? to become a teacher trainer my first thing. what mm -hmm. to do to become a teacher trainer okay very good so as you saw during my presentation a teacher trainership involves many elements huh? except teaching we need to be aware what are the requirements and the demands of the marketplace so therefore, I said it's best if we combine our teaching practices with uh, project work huh? so that we can see closely what are the requirements and what are the needs of the market and then try to uh, embed them and incorporate them in our teaching so that when we offer our students, uh, when they finish their studies, they will be capable to uh, and they will have the knowledge that will share with the marketplace huh? because they will be aware what kind of uh, criteria and strategies are needed so therefore i said it's best to combine teaching with practice in that uh, sense we can all together contribute in order to respond to the marketplace demands okay thank you ma'am Welcome. Sorry, your microphone is off. I cannot hear you. But sorry, ma'am. Thank you so much for solving the query. And I'm really sorry for recognizing you uh, wrong in the beginning. It's OK. <laughs> Thank you it so happens, much, ma'am. It is so much, presa. It is pronounced presa, and its meaning is hope. <laughs> oh wow really a great meaning thank you ah, so okay. much ma'am thank you thank you all for giving anyone having any other query yeah sure it seems like like your lecture is so good that all are cleared with your queries is one more query is there by joseph i can see a question here written on the chat how many sectors are emerging for students and teachers? How do we cope with themes as a mentor? As, we, as I mentioned earlier, this is a very broad topic and maybe 20 minutes are not enough to, to dive uh, deeper and explain all the concepts. But generally, the focus here is in, uh, in combining teaching with practice. This is the main focus. Okay, do we have another question? Hello, am I audible? Yes, please. Uh, 
Yes, uh, thank you, Ms. Presha, for that wonderful uh, uh, talk. Your graphics and your, um, your communication skills are wonderful. And um, I love the word uh, teacherpreneur. It's a new, it's some kind of an innovative uh, professional. Now, I just wanted to ask in, in, in context with India, where our traditional learning is like, uh, slowly shifting into uh, the concept that we are talking about. Uh, do you don't you think that it will take a little more out of school money out of the class hours uh, intervention yes actually this is a very good point because as i also mentioned in my presentation it takes time and uh, uh, it, it is a two-side effort not only effort from a teacher's side but also from a student side Therefore, I said it's important here to combine our power uh, in order to be more successful. And yes, it needs to go slowly, but still, if we put enough focus on that, it can rapidly raise. Therefore, it's good as teachers to bear in mind this constantly. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you, Goldin. More than welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for solving the queries.